One of my favorite memories as a child was stopping by a date shop in the California desert for a date shake or some other delicious treat made from dates. This recipe is my interpretation of the date nut bar I remember so well from my childhood that was always my favorite. To make these date nut bars, you will need three quarters of a cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of oil, three eggs, one and a half cups of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of chopped walnuts, and one half cup of chopped dried dates. This recipe all comes together in one bowl using either a wooden spoon or a whisk. So I'm starting with my three eggs to which I'll add my white sugar and my brown sugar and my three quarters of a cup of oil. And I'm gonna just whisk this together until it's smooth. Once you're happy with your smooth mixture of your eggs and your sugar and your oil, it's time to add your vanilla and your cup and a half of self-rising flour and mix together. Once your batter is nicely mixed together and smooth, it's simply a matter of stirring in your dates and your nuts and using a wooden spoon, mix well. Oh my gosh, that looks so good with all those chunky nuts and dates in there. I've lined an 8 by 8 glass baking dish with parchment paper, and now I'm just pouring the batter into the dish, and I'll spread it evenly. And then this will go into our preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. These bars have the chewiness of a brownie and the perfect amount of sweetness. The dates and nuts add so much texture and flavor. They pack well in school lunches and make a great snack anytime. If you love easy recipes, then this is a recipe for you and it's sure to become a family favorite.